everyone, it's Eric here. So I just got back from my parents' house where I picked up a box full of DVDs and Blu-rays from when I was a kid. I also had a second box in my closet at home and I unpacked both of those and I got everything laid out in front of me here. Some days I am just on fire. If you didn't notice, based on the channel name, we love video games and especially retro video games. And this movie was pretty much a love letter to retro gaming. And that movie, almost dropped it there. No! Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Now I'll be honest with you, I've never read the comics before. I've heard they are amazing. I love the art style of them. And I actually have Scott Pilgrim versus the world, uh, the game from Limited Run on the Nintendo Switch. All right, so this other game I found was a fun four-player game. My brother and I used to play it with our neighbors all the time. It's Gauntlet Dark Legacy for the PlayStation 2. You've never played Gauntlet before. It's kind of a dungeon crawler game. Uh, you pick a class like wizard or warrior. Warriors, come out to play. I'm holding on to this one. This one is definitely not getting uh, sold or traded in. I'm gonna add this to the collection. But I'd trade it all for a little more. We pull up to uh, play a trade it so Eric can um, trade in a bunch of these Blu-rays and DVDs. And we're walking and we see a bunch of um, board games right in front of the store next uh, to play called Tabletop. And Eric mentions like, hey, did you see that Zelda Monopoly? And I'm like, wait, are you kidding me? Zelda Monopoly? Like that you've been, Eric's been collecting literally Nintendo branded uh, board games the last few weeks. And then um, Eric mentioned to me, he's like, I know you're a big X-Men guy. Um, they actually have a 90s X-Men board game as well. So um, we ended up going there, $5 holla. $5. $5 holla. And um, this is super cool. I swooped this Zelda up. Um, it looks near complete. I think there are a couple game pieces missing, but for $5, you can't beat it. Yeah, super, super pumped on this. I traded in my entire Blu-ray and DVD collection. You saw previously, I had, I think it was about a hundred DVDs and Blu-rays. It, it was a crap load of them. It was a whole like- Yeah, it was full. two full boxes. Yeah. No one helped me carry them in. How rude! Since I got 170 back from my entire collection of Blu-rays and DVDs, and there was a couple games in there too, uh, they had a top loader uh, that works. It came with a dog bone and all the cables. And I told Eric all of this. This whole entire trip was based off me just being like, dude, just go get this top loader yeah. instead. It's in clean condition and it's nice. They were selling it for $199, and so we just did a trade for it. I paid the difference, and uh, yeah, so we got... Eric finally got a fully functioning uh, NES top loader. You know, that'll get you your very own Nintendo Entertainment System. Eric just got his first top loader, and I told him I would get him his favorite game ever. So here you go. Final Fantasy for NES as a gift. I picked up the Legend of Zelda, of course. Yep. So, I, you know, this is one of my favorite game series of all time, and I've never played the actual original game on the consoles intended for, so now I can. Really excited to play that. It's the Legend of Zelda, and it's really rad. Those creatures from Ganon are pretty bad. <laughs>
Yeah, so I've been collecting uh, Wii games and um, I'm pretty excited. Um, I got some on the rail shooters uh, based off Metal Jesus Rocks kind of Wii suggestions. So I got uh, Resident Evil, the Dark Side Chronicles complete in box. House of Dead 2 and 3 Returns. I have it loose, but now um, I actually have it complete, which is awesome. And then Ghost Squad, Squad which is uh, an arcade shooter. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about these. And then of course the Black Seal Joust. Eric, yeah, who told you about that black seal though? Your mama. George, your mother's an astronaut. He talked about your mama, man. So I literally just bought this amiibo like 10 minutes ago um, at UGA and I found another amiibo. Uh, that I like better and I'm gonna do a trade and trade this one in uh, towards the amiibo they have here at Play It. Uh, so stay tuned, I'll show you here in just a second what I'm about to trade Bowser in for. Adorable. You're adorable. They can't understand me, kid. Thank you so much for watching, uh, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button below. And comment below also your favorite NES games, what Eric should get too. I know I'm gonna actually comment as well. So yeah. let me know, and we'll see you next Friday. Hey, take care, guys.